Hey, it's Mark back with another audio tutorial. And in this video, we're talking about volume envelope editing and ducking. Um, you probably want to know what those words mean. So let me tell you, um, the volume envelope is just a way to automate volume changes over time. So as your piece plays, the volume can go up or down as you see fit. And ducking is a result of volume envelope editing, um, but it's kind of the opposite of a boost. Uh, so if you think of ducking, you know, to get underneath something that might strike you in the face, uh, that's more or less what this is. So the volume will be this loud and then it will come down and then it will be, it'll go back up. And the reason we do this is to make room for foreground elements. So if you've got something busy like a song or crowd noise, um, or busy workshop or something, and you're going to do voiceover that particular piece of sound, um, you will need to lower the volume. And it just sounds better when it starts full and it fades down underneath a foreground element. Most of the time it's your voice. So that's the example I'm going to use today. So let's, uh, let's hop into Audition and we will use a couple of examples that I already have prepared here. So I have a piece of rough voiceover as well as a song and um, they sound together, whoops, uh, like this. This is a quiet part, it's a big part actually, and it's about a quarter to six. That's probably all we need to hear because, uh, well, first off, we can't make out the, uh, the foreground, which is the voiceover, um, which is the whole point of this video. So let's, uh, let's direct you to where the volume envelope is, so we can start manipulating it. Um, so if you click on any of these blocks, uh, they'll come into focus, and then you'll be able to mouse over this line in the middle, and that's labeled volume. And that's your first hint that you're you know, in the right place. So let's bring that down. You know, it's a pretty busy piece of music. I'm gonna go minus 15, maybe even 18. Uh, and let's, uh, let's hear what this sounds like. This is a quiet neighborhood in Halifax. It's that's cool. Uh, I'm happy with it at minus 18. And this is up to you. It depends on how loud and robust your voiceover is or your foreground elements, because you can mix sound effects into background sound. Uh, and it also depends on how busy or sparse your music or background um, elements that you want to incorporate. So if it's a, if it's like a subtle crowd murmur, like, um, you know, crowd at an opera or something uh, that's much different than the crowd at a rock concert um, and that's sort of what we're talking about here is this is a quite a busy piece of music so I'm probably going to bring it down lower than if it was just a single plucked acoustic guitar for example so let's uh, let's let's hear that again this is a quiet neighborhood in Halifax it's Clayton Park changed my mind. I'm actually going to bring it down just a little bit further. And you know, you're allowed to change your mind. I'm allowed to change my mind. Um, one other thing that I want to do is I want to show you about or show you that it's important to establish sounds before you duck. And it doesn't need to be long, three, maybe four seconds tops, then the sort of duck occurs. Now you, the observant among you have noticed there's no duck here, the music just starts off low. Here's where it comes in, is I'm going to click on this node, or click on this envelope to create a node, and I'm gonna click over here, rewind the video if you need to see this part again, and I'm gonna bring the music back up to zero. And you can see I've sort of faded across the beginning of where I start speaking, just like that. So this is a vector right now, a straight line between two points, here to here, the voiceover starts roughly halfway between, um, halfway through the vector. Um, I'm noticing that I start on a beat here. I might change that. Just That's just a nuanced thing that you'll pick up. It's, it's kind of weird when voiceover starts on a beat. It's not a song. You know, we're not mixing um, something melodic with the background. You're actually talking over it. So it's kind of weird to start on a beat perfectly. Um, just my tastes but uh, I leave you to experiment with those sorts of things. Let's hear this. This is a quiet neighborhood in Halifax. It's Clayton Park, actually. 
yeah so here we are uh this just just needs a little bit of adjustment is all before it, it sounds perfect um, i'm gonna move this back a little bit actually i not quite happy with where it starts and also i'm going to i mean this is fine this is fine um ideally you just go and it's a straight line will get it done but you know the, the world isn't perfect so what we're going to do is actually put an elbow in here um think of just you know how your arm is shaped um as opposed to a knee right so i'm putting an elbow in here and that just sort of this gradual fade where it starts off and then slows down, uh, starts off quick and then slows down, it, it does sound quite pleasing to the ear. So let's hear that. This is a quiet neighborhood in Halifax. I'm happy with that. Now, now let's go do the same but opposite on the other end. So we are going to, again, click, go roughly the same distance on the other side, just about there I would say put a little elbow in it and see if we get it right and it's as quiet as it is cold that is terrible poetry yeah I like that except uh, a couple things um, I don't like this gap and also don't like how loud this is so we're going to make a little volume adjustment to the voiceover I've just boosted it a little bit 3 dB and it's as quiet as it is cold that is terrible poetry. That's great. I am now going to just shorten the music and stretch the music and then put a little fade out at the end. And it's as quiet as it is cold. That is terrible poetry. I'm not happy with the fade out, but that's also not the point of this video. We can talk about those another time. So here is our entire project that we've created in this sitting. This is a quiet neighborhood in Halifax. It's Clayton Park, actually, and it's about quarter to six on a weekday in the middle of January. And it's as quiet as it is cold. And that is terrible poetry.